Good to be with you. I'm Chief Meteorologist Eric Sorensen here in the 13 Weather Center. Uh, hopefully you've decided to get one of these, a Midland Weather Radio. Um, like we have smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors, it's important that you have a tornado detector in your home. Sure, WREX we offer text alerts, but you know what, on my phone, if, uh, if I get a, a text alert at any point during the night, I'm probably not going to hear it, and that's why I've got one of these weather radios. Now, I'm going to go through on how to program your weather radio. Of course, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you get uh, three AA batteries and put those in just in case the power goes out. Um, but if you have three AA batteries, you don't even need to plug it in. Since I don't have batteries to this one, I'm going to plug this in. I'm actually going to move the camera down so that you can zoom right in here and get an idea of what your new Midland Weather Radio can do for you. So right here in the back is where I'm going to plug it in, right where it says power, and you're going to see the brand right there. It's WR120, I believe. So it's going to say, welcome, set the language. Now, it's really important to understand the Midland Weather Radio, the select button is the yes button, and that's right here. So do we want to set the language? Yes. English? Yes. Now, here's where it's going to customize a location for us. And generally, you're going to want one county on there versus having a bunch of counties. We only want this weather alert radio to go off when you need to take action. So, here we go. It's going to go to Annie as a default. What we want to do is do single or multiple. So, for instance, if you live out toward uh, Pacatonica, you're going to want to want, uh, have multiple counties in here for Stevenson and Winnebago. But since we're here in Rockford, we're just going to a single county. Select is the yes button. It's telling us that slot number one right now is empty. So what we're going to do is change that. It is in the United States. We are not in Alabama. So I'm going to hold down the button here. Go all the way down to Illinois. Select. Since Winnebago is at the very bottom, what we're going to do is actually trick it. And we're going to go up from Adams to Woodford to Winnebago County. I'm going to hit select. Now it wants me to set the time. Since I don't have any batteries in here, I don't need to set the time. And you actually don't need to have batteries in this as long as it's plugged in. Set channel. That's what's important now. It defaults to 162475, but in order you can scroll through, find which one is coming in clear, and then hit select. Now it says the setup is done. I'm going to hit select. And then menu, just to make sure that it says saving. Right there, saving and it's done. So, this Midland Weather Radio is now completely activated. Now, even though I unplug it, there's no batteries in here, plug it back in, it's still automatically set for just Winnebago County. These Midland Weather Radios are lifesavers. We're glad that you decided to get one. Um, of course, you, if you haven't yet, you can pick them up at any area schnook store in the Rockford Metro up in Janesville or DeKalb. Thanks a lot for watching.